Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar looking at the fundamentals of Final Cut Pro 10. What I want to do first is I want to get myself ready to edit a new project. So I'm going to create a new event. An event, remember, is a collection of media. The very first thing you do when you're ready to create a new event is to select the hard drive that you will want the event to be stored on. In this case, I'm storing the event to my second drive. Now, a really important point here, one of the things that's new with the new iMacs that came out in November and December is a concept of a fusion drive, and we've also seen and heard about SSD drives. SSD and fusion drives, which get their real speed from a combination of RAM memory and, and uh, spinning hard disks, SSDs are really, really good at playback, but they're not so good at record. And they're best at playback of something which is played back over and over and over and over again. In other words, fusion drives and SSD drives should be used for your operating system and should be used for your applications. They're not really going to help a whole lot when you're working with media. One, you've got to transfer the media from spinning media into the SSD, so there's some stop and start behavior there. But second, the media that we play, we only play it once. We play that clip once, and then we move on to another clip and move on to another clip. We're never taking advantage of the fact that once a file is loaded into an SSD, it's able to play it back over and over and over very quickly. So if you're working with fusion drives or you're working with SSD drives, use them for the operating system, use them for the application, but store media to a second hard drive. I've got a, a dual Thunderbolt RAID on my editing system because I want the speed, and I've got a fusion drive because I want to have the operating system and the application run quickly. So media to a second drive. The fusion drive does the operating system, the application, and stuff that you're going to access over and over and over again without making changes to it. Okay, so the first thing I do is I select the drive that I want to store the new event to. Remember, an event is a collection of media. Go up to File and say New Event. Keyboard shortcut is Option N. It then creates a new event on the hard disk that was selected at the moment when I created that event. We can rename this event, so I'm going to just drag across it, and we'll call it Larry's Larry's Event. Now, you don't have to call your event Larry's Event. You could call it Fred's Event, or Wilma's Event, or you know your own name, or the event. And this can be anything. This is just a name. So we're going to call it Larry's event. And because Larry loves trains, we're going to be ultimately capturing some railroad footage into it. So notice that I've created the event here. If I wanted to rename the event, just click it again, and we'll call it Railroad Media. So you can rename an event by clicking on it. We can move events. Let's say that I want to move this event. Well, we select the event we want to move, go up to File, go down to Move Event. What a move does is it makes a copy of the event in a new location and then deletes it from the old location. So where do I want it stored? I'm going to store it to my Macintosh HD. When I click OK, and now it's moving the event from second drive to the Macintosh HD. Now where on the Macintosh HD is it stored? Well, let's show you. If we go to the Home Directory, Shift Command H. Go to the Movies folder. There's our Final Cut Events folder. And there's my Railroad Media. That's the event that we just moved. So when you're working with files that are stored on a single hard drive, they will always be stored in your home directory, in a folder called Movies, in a folder called Final Cut Events, or in a folder called Final Cut Projects. If I've got three hard drives attached to my system, I can have events stored on all three. If I suddenly decide that I want to take all those, those three events that are stored on multiple hard drives and consolidate them, simply select the event, go up to File, and notice it says Consolidate Project Media. Consolidate only becomes dark when you have the same event stored on two different drives. Then when you consolidate, it brings that, that two-drive event and stores it to a single drive. So Consolidate Project Media is only relevant when you've got events stored to more than one hard drive. We can also delete an event. Now here, I'm going to push this over and show the dock. Okay, there's the trash and it's empty. I'm going to just take Graphics Test and right mouse click on it, say Move Event to Trash. 
and now it's in the trash. If I double click the trash, there's the graphics test folder. It's moved all the folders inside it, but it's moved it to the trash. So if I suddenly realize, whoa, I don't want to delete that, then it's easy. Just grab it from the trash and drag it where you want it to go. We'll just hide Final Cut, and we'll hide that window, open up our second drive, and take graphics test and drag it back into events. And now we've recovered it again. Now you don't want to drag stuff into or out of the events folder, and you don't want to drag stuff into or out of the projects folder with Final Cut running because Final Cut's going to get confused. So just to prevent problems, I'm going to quit Final Cut and restart it. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering the fundamentals of Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 88. By the way, membership on our website is a great value. Do you need to stretch your training dollars? A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. At an incredibly low monthly price of only $19.99, you get more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and Autodesk software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit larryjordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.